So there's some news come out today about Fox News host Bill O'Reilly. Bill O'Reilly has been let go from Fox News Channel. Now he was their golden boy for about 20 years. His show had the most ratings on the network and they end up kicking him off of his show that's been the flagship of that network itself. Now, Ted Koppel a while back told Bill O'Reilly to his face that you single-handedly have ruined journalism. And he has. His stuff has been straight propagandist and he is the platform for those who will want to spew hate for everybody except those who are part of the Caucasian community. Now, O'Reilly's been around a very long time. Now, it's come out that O'Reilly was constantly being caught up in sexual harassment suits. And Fox had paid a total of $13 million to keep women quiet while he's still making money for them. But with this current situation, when more women had came out, you have sisters that also filed racial discrimination. They said that Bill O'Reilly had called a melanated woman chocolate milk, referring to her color. Fox was getting a lot of pressure. The people start going after Fox's advertisers, start hitting them in the pocketbook, and they start billing on them, on his show. He lost thing about 60 advertisers, so much so that he had to take vacation. Rupert Murdoch, which is the old man that runs 21st Century Fox, his sons is with him on that. The sons wanted to get rid of O'Reilly, he did not. But more and more pressure against the advertisers and the scandal, Rupert had to cave. He's one of the old men who's trying to hold on to the old guard and one of the old men is trying to fight against the new independent media. That same guy, Rupert Murdoch, owns the Wall Street Journal. The same Wall Street Journal that made these false accusations and hit piece against YouTube and their creators to try to harm them. But it's quite funny that the Wall Street Journal, which is owned by Rupert Murdoch, the same thing happened to them. And their golden boy is gone. Isn't that wonderful? Next time, stop trying to harm other people and maybe your golden boy wouldn't go anymore. That's the only thing I'm gonna say about that situation. It's funny how the same thing you do to others come right back on you. And it didn't even take long for that to happen. But Bill O'Reilly's been spewing his hatred for a long time. You know, he talked about Sister Maxine Waters and said that she had a uh, James Brown wig and everything. And that's why I had posted on my Twitter page the picture of her laughing, because I know she's laughing at him now, that, that idiot. But he had re-signed at the time period a $20 million deal for three years. Trust me, Bill O'Reilly not broke, not by a long shot. This doesn't hurt him at all. They had a lot of exits from Fox News. You had Roger L, same thing, sexual harassment. Now you got Bill O'Reilly, same thing. I guess Fox will have to rebrand themselves, or I guess find someone else to take O'Reilly's place on that network. We don't know who they're going to put up there, but I'm pretty sure they're going to put somebody else that's probably more devious. Wouldn't be surprising to me if they put Richard Spencer up there. I mean, shoot, you might as well. I mean, at least O'Reilly, he was a little bit more refined with his to a point, but we'll see what's going on. But it is really a good day for it's definitely us within the, our community because you have a propagandist that spewed nothing but Caucasian supremacist rhetoric against us off the airwaves every night. If you enjoy the news and information you receive on this platform, consider supporting us on Patreon for a minimum of $5 per month. On Patreon, you get exclusive videos and content, and we can't allow the mainstream media to shut us down. Leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this, share the video, like the commentary, and subscribe for more news stories.